Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you had a great week. This is the weekend and the perfect time to make some French cooking only if you feel like it. So today we're going to be looking at uh, making dishes that use poaching or how to poach meat and with that poaching method try to create a velouté and how to cook meat in a velouté sauce. The recipe of the day is called the blanquette. Usually it's made with veal meat but today I'm going to be using pork because it's kind of the, the pork's main version, it's easier to find, I could not find any veal. So what is that recipe, that blanquette de pork that I'm going to make? They're basically a pork fillet, we're going to slightly color it in the pan to try to keep that whiteness to it and I'm going to cook them in a stock create a velouté, then add some lovely mushrooms, some pancetta, some carrots, just some flavoring and create that lovely white sauce that we're going to finish with cream, a bit of lemon and some capers. Absolutely delicious but still easy to make. These are all the ingredients you're going to need in order to make that blanquette de porc derived from the name blanquette de veau which is basically pork fillet cooked in a velouté sauce. So the ingredients should be popping up on the screen right now and while you're reading those I can give you a brief overview of what we're going to be using mainly mushrooms, little onions, these are cloves if you wonder what they are, these little things that I've pricked on, pancetta, garlic, butter a bouquet garni in which I've got a video on how to make it, some carrots, a bit of lemon, some capers, of course the pork fillet, dry white wine, a tablespoon of plain flour and this is just some extra veal stock. You don't have to use this, it's optional, you can use water instead. So let's start this dish. I'm starting by putting all the butter that I had and a bit of oil and I'm going to start by throwing in my garlic and my pancetta. And guys, this is a bit of a one pot dish again, but without any browning. So we're going to try to keep the browning to a minimum. All right, so our pancetta has got just that uh, little tint over there, no color, and we're going to start to add our meat. And these pieces of meat, you can see I've diced them really large because they're going to be cooking for more than an hour. And I've seasoned them with salt and white pepper. After a few minutes, you check your meat yeah, and you can see that's the kind of color you want. Just slightly colored because remember this is meant to be poached. So just to have a little layer of color and then we're going to add the liquid. And when I say liquid, I mean the wine and the stock. Now just before we do that, in order to make a roux, we're going to add a good tablespoon again of flour over the meat. When that's done, you make sure the flour goes into the oil, into the juice to make your roux. When the meat is well coated, such as this, you're going to let the flour cook just for two minutes. All right, two minutes later, what we've created here is basically a white roux. We're now ready to add cold liquid. Remember, if you have a hot roux, it's always cold liquid. So I'm ajout... Sorry, I'm talking French. <laughs> Ajouter my wine. I'm adding my wine in here. And very important, my stock. Okay, you can use water instead of stock. Finally, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Very simple. So all of the carrots the little onions with the cloves, a stock cube in little pieces and our homemade bouquet garni that you can put on the side. And everything is mixed well, so you plunge everything in the juice like that and when that's done you're gonna cover this pot like that and leave it to cook for about one and a half hour. One and a half hour is done. Let's have a look. This is what we get. Everything has nicely reduced and slightly thickened as well but most importantly we can see that the meat, that's what I want to check, is cooked. See, whoa, you see? It's ready to fall apart. Perfect. So from here what you do? We need to reserve the meat first because we're going to turn this lovely juice into a lovely velouté sauce. Last thing, you're going to remove that unsightly bouquet garni. Alright, and now we're going to be able to work on our sauce. 
For the sauce, it's very simple. You're going to turn your heat on medium and that's going to start to boil again. Take your mushrooms that I've pre-washed and cut, put them all in and you're going to wait about 5 or 10 minutes until that sauce further reduces and our mushrooms are almost cooked. 10 minutes have passed and this is the result. The mushrooms are cooked, the sauce have thickened a bit more. But for some of you it may not be thick enough or if you have uh, put too much water it's going to be a bit liquid. Now as a bonus I'm going to share a little thing. To thicken your sauce in case of too much liquidity you can use this. This is a mix of flour and butter mixed together called a beurre manier. Equal amounts of flour and butter. So that's 10 grams of butter, 10 grams of flour. And I will demonstrate what it does. As you can see here it's thick but it's not too thick. If I take a little piece of that and put it in here and bring that to the boil you will see what happened. Medium heat and that thing is going to start floating. I'm using a whisk and for this to work it needs to boil. Okay so this is the instant roux that you can use to thicken your sauce. You can also use corn flour. Look at this. A few minutes in after the boiling and look at that. That becomes really thick and most importantly it is coating my spoon. Look at that. And that's what you want when it sticks to the spoon it will stick to the meat. But now you're gonna tell me oh my god but this is not white it's brown. Yes because we haven't added the cream yet. So from here you're gonna add some cream and if you want a little bit of lemon, not too much. You then use a whisk and create the much more inviting color that your dish is going to become. More cream is going to become more white. Beautiful! So look at this. I've put back my meat pieces. They're going to coat nicely with the sauce and the last touch is to add some capers in. You mix well, let it warm up at a, you know, a gentle heat and it will be ready to serve. And now let's start that dish. So we'll try to gently put some pieces of meat. It's already falling apart, meaning it's absolutely cooked, which is really beautiful. Look at the pieces there to give you a bit of an idea and it will be perfect for my tasting. Oh yeah. And to finish off, of course, that beautiful velouté sauce that we've made to really coat all of the pieces of meat. You got the mushrooms, the carrots, and some cloves. Wow, that's nice. Hmm, so this is it, guys. Our blanquette de porc is ready. And now I just want to tell, oh, look at this. The meat is falling apart. Mmm, oh. oh, that's good. These capers here, that gives an amazing, oh look at that, dimension. Mmm, a bit of a zest in there and the sweetness of the carrot with the cream. Beautiful. I will serve that dish with rice or potatoes. And that's it. As is, it's absolutely beautiful. If you can try it out, it's really worth it. And that's it guys, that's completely the video of the week. The pork fillet in a velouté sauce. It's really something different. The poached meat, it tastes lovely. And if you have time, it's really recommended for you to try. But as always, if you have any questions, if you like the channel, thumbs up, comment, put a like, or even subscribe. And I'll see you all next time on my next video. Bye bye.